application of dot product perpendicular vectors here's a communication question c2 find two vectors perpendicular to vector u which is 3 comma minus 2 now let's say that the vector v is perpendicular to u so let's say let vector v which is let us say the coordinates are a and b let's say this is perpendicular to the given vector u right this is perpendicular to u in that case we'll have v dot u equals to zero right now u is given as three minus two so and v is a b for us we have a and b for v dot u is three minus two that should be equal to zero now when you perform dot product you get 3a minus 2b equals to 0. Now in this equation you will notice that there are two variables and we have just one equation. Now how to solve for this? You can of course write a in terms of b. So in this case a will be so you get 3a equals to 2b and so we get a. Now let's write here. So a equals to 2 over 3b, right? So when we get this kind of a situation, that means we have multiple solutions, right? So this indicates one thing, that we have multiple solutions. Since the value of a is dependent on b. So if you take b as 1, a is 2 over 3, like that, right? So you can take many values of b and get different values of a. Do you understand? So, best values to take is avoid fractions. If we take, let us say, we can make a column now, right? So, we can say like this. Let's pick some values of B and then write down the value of A. If I write B as 3, then what do I get? I get A as 2. If I write B as 6, multiple of 3 I'm taking, then it will be 4. So, like that, I can get a lot of values. And all these vectors will be perpendicular to u. So we can get answer as v, one of the possible answers. This is one of these combinations. So what combination did we get? We get 2 and 3. That is the combination which fulfills. Now, you will notice that basically the, this vector is scalar multiple of this, right? You could write any vector which has this kind of direction vector and it will be perpendicular to the given vector, right? So in general, if I have to write an answer, I can always write answer as vector v equals to some constant k times 2 minus 2 times 3, right? Well, we could have taken negative values also. Think about this. If I would have taken minus 3, then a would have been minus 1. So here, k actually belongs to real numbers, right? So that becomes a very general solution for the given problem, right? Now, let's try to see how it will look like. I mean, in a coordinate system, what is vector 3 minus 2? Vector 3 minus 2, if you see from the origin, is a position vector. So from 3 and minus 2, it's kind of a line like this. Correct? So any line which is perpendicular to this line will have a slope of, or the direction of, I should say, 2, 3. That means 2 and 3, right? Kind of like this. So, if we have any vector in this direction, it could be here, there, it could be longer, shorter, it could be in this direction, any direction, right? Anywhere. But in this direction, will be perpendicular to the given vector, right? Now, we also say, so this is one thing. So you can have n number of vectors perpendicular to a given vector. Now, one may say that if you get this situation that you have one equation with two variables and you have to find them, then we define one variable in terms of another. So we say we have one parameter. So whenever we have one parameter, then the solution is always a line, right? So line 
will get, give you a set of points, right? Infinite number of points, right? So we have infinite number of combinations here. So here what we need to understand is that in such situations you can get much any number of solutions and the two values are dependent on one another. I hope you appreciate the idea. Thank you and all the best.